Hello everybody, Just Nikki here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be playing for you Coffee Talk. Um, now, I don't know what this game is, I just know that you run a coffee shop and people come in and you talk to them and help them with their problems if they have any. Uh, but I found this game on Itch.io and it looks really cool. I love the art that was in there. Even though it's pixelated, it's very cool. And I'm digging this this intro screen, like, this is hot. Okay, so we we about to get started. So wait, can I put barista Nikki? Cause um, can that fit? Oh, come on, no, it's okay. It's all right. We'll take barista off and we'll put Nikki, and we will confirm. Is Nikki correct? Yes. Seattle, 2020. Oh, okay. 20 years after the end of the world, an end prophecy was provoked, well, was provoking, was proven wrong. A time when the big war between the races is only a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed without even getting the chance to be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves and started their automotive empires and the orcs have put down their axes and used computers to further their lives. And when humans live amongst them, just like we've always known. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of brick and wood and closed doors. They are spoken over drinks before talking, before talking. Wow, can I read? Okay, I had y'all immersed and then I fucked up. I'm sorry, let me start over. <laughs> they are spoken over drinks before taking up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a cafe. A place where it's only when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Thursday, October, oh, October 1st, 2020. Sorry guys, I wasn't clicking then. It just kind of like was going without me, but uh, that's all right. So this already seems cool. I'm digging this. What? Oh, it's you. Hey, Pops. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Oh, what happened? The store where I usually get my ingredients made some logistic errors. So I didn't get most of the ingredients I usually use to make my drinks. Man. That's a bummer. It is, but don't worry. I still have the ingredients I need to make that coffee you need. <laughs> it's nice to hear. It would be pretty silly to open our coffee shop if you couldn't even serve a simple espresso. Can't argue with that. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're the first customer on a really bad day for the cafe. Don't worry. Take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor, so I'm used to taking things slow. Real slow. <laughs> oh, writer's block again. You got that right. Are you working on another big scoop, or is this about your plans to write that big work of fiction? It's the latter. Ah, the machine is ready. Pardon the interruption, but do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. I really need that triple shot espresso. 
Whoa. Um. Uh. Okay. Wow. So they have. Oh, they got matcha, yo. She. They got. That's my. That's my favorite, by the way. I love green tea. But uh, they have coffee, matcha tea, cocoa, and milk. Uh, I mean, I guess let's start with coffee. Whoa. Oh, wait. Wait, it's not telling me what to do. Wait. Ah, uh, drink recipes. Okay. Wait a minute. They're all locked. Is everything all locked? It is! Well, she said she wanted, um... Wait a minute. Um, Freya. I'm, I'm gonna say her name is Freya. I'm not really good with readings. And I just realized this is Tomodachi. <laughs> okay, so, uh, contributor for the evening whisper. Knows the barista for some time already. Uh, likes coffee a lot. Okay. She's, she's our only friend. We're lonely as fuck. Oh, we can change the music? We'll let this play for now, because I like it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. So she said she wanted a triple shot of espresso. So I'm guessing that would mean I need three shots of coffee? Right? Oh, no. It's just espresso. It doesn't say triple shot. Well, it says espresso, but it doesn't say triple shot. Well, we'll serve it for now. <laughs> oh. One cup of triple shot espresso, especially for my only customer tonight. Ah! Exactly what I needed! Anyway, where were we? We, uh, you were about to tell me your plans regarding writing fiction on a big scale. Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing short stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like it's the right time for me to challenge myself a bit more. That's good for you. <laughs> Sounds good in theory. But when you start to really do it, that's when reality hits hard. Well, I mean, that's to be expected. At least you still have your job to support you while you're writing a novel in your free time. Hehehe. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? <laughs> no, you were right. You said that I should move- Oh, that I should- Where did I get moved from? Brain! Corroborate! I can't read y'all, I'm sorry. You said- what I should have done instead of taking the path I'm on now. And that path is... You know how the newspaper I work for is owned by the biggest book publisher in the country, right? Yes. Well, I asked my chief for the opportunity to focus on writing the novel. What do you mean by opportunity? Well... Basically, I asked him to give me paid leave so I can write the novel for our publisher. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? Why? You had a good job that was paying you the money and you could have been doing what you wanted on the side and not had to rush yourself to write it. Now she has to come up with... Okay, it's fine. Come on, don't give me that look. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah. I know, it's such a stupid thing to ask. 
And how did your boss react? He challenged me. He said if I can get the initial draft ready in a month, then my weekly target for news will be heavily reduced so I can focus on the novel. And he will push the fiction publishing division head to approve my novel for publishing. Although, I will still need to submit daily short stories too. That's not bad, considering you will get the opportunity to be published by the biggest publisher here. What if you fail? Why would you ask her that? <laughs> what? What if you fail? What if you fucking just fuck up? What if you just fucking bomb that shit and wasted your whole fucking time? What if you just suck? Is what he should have asked. Or what I should have asked, because it's me. But she said Papa earlier, so now I'm confused. Anyways. He won't forbid me from working on the novel. Novel. But I will still have the crazy workload of a journalist. And I will lose the chance to be published by them. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't give me that look. So you've got three weeks to finish it. How far along are you? Er, she's like SpongeBob. She fucking wrote the, and that's it. I'm doing it. I'm doing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. In some of these, in some of these. Almost there. And... Done. <sighs> now let's see how it looks so far. The... <laughs> he he he. I assume the number of wor words you have written is not far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Uh, um, well. It was so bad that, well... To the point that I just deleted everything immediately after reading it. Da, da, da. So zero. <sighs> yes. You- oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I was gonna say you really need to finish it. Uh, I really need to finish it in at least, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to- uh, then I'll use the extra week to publish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you pull it off well. I know, I know. You don't need to be so clinical about it. I don't know if that's a clinical. I think that's at something else. But uh, my brain hurts, so I'm not even going to try and attempt to read that. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of the short stories I'm the most proud of, yeah, of here, you know. Ugh. Oh, by the way, before I continue, I know you guys want me to keep reading, I'm sorry, but like, I had a poof to- I had a poof tool. <laughs> I really can't talk. Um, I had one of my wisdom teeth pulled, uh, like four days ago, I think now. Um, and so if I talk weird or if you hear me like being like mush mouth almost, it's because of that. Uh, luckily I don't have the gauze in because I sounded really fucking stupid when I had gauze in. But um, yeah, it's still there and uh, the wound is probably not closing. It's probably a little close. I don't know. I can't touch it with my tongue because then that would be that would be not good. But uh, so yeah, anyways, if, if I sound weird... Or if I'm stumbling over stuff, then that's why. So anyways. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Oh! Welcome. Hey there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What would you recommend? 
that depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet a friend, not planning on being awake all night. So definitely no coffee. How's about chocolate? It'll be perfect for this weather. That's a good idea. Actually, thank you. You're welcome. A cup of hot chocolate, please. Nice. Okay, so primary. Okay, so the base will be cocoa, right? And the primary will be milk. Uh... Um, hi. Yeah, voiceover Nikki here. Uh, I don't know why I made this one so difficult. It's literally hot chocolate. Okay, back to the video. Or cocoa? No, hang on. Wait, cocoa? Wait, hang on. Did I get a new recipe? I probably unlocked one, right? Okay, that's fine. You know what? Uh, milk and that's weird. Adding honey and I don't. I thought about it in my head. I'm like could add honey it'll make it sweeter but that's weird um <clears throat> um, wait do i need to add a secondary wait let me see if i can brew it oh i can't okay i do need to add a secondary two hours later Let's add cinnamon and see how that Bruh. works. She might like it. There you go. Your drink is ready, miss. Mmm. You know, in my native language, we call color brown chocolate. Because the color is like, well, chocolate. And this drink doesn't look brown at all. <laughs> No! Oh my, I'm sorry. I must have made a mistake. It's okay. At least it's not coffee. And it's warm. So, are you writing for- waiting for a friend writing? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You've gone from not having anyone to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded, considering it's the only cafe open after midnight around here. Because it's the only cafe that's open after midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having a cafe only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, as she said. Then why? Well. They have a bunch of creatures living around here. It's not just humans. So I would think that there would be more creatures that would be up at night than in the daytime that would want some coffee. But then again, that is weird having a cafe open only at night. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always some someone longing for a warm cup at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the cafe in this situation? That's a secret. Nikki here is damn rich. That's the secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Besides, I live in the cafe, so I'm saving a lot by not having to worry about accommodation costs. Don't worry so much about him. He can manage. And I'm sure the cafe won't close down anytime soon, so you'll still have a weird, calm place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, it seems like you are a regular here. I don't really have anyone else to- anyone else- anywhere else to go. I'm a writer that works well at night and in a cafe. There's not so many options for that combination, right? Hmm, no wonder. 
She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whisper. Shut up! No, really. Wow. That's interesting. What kind of things do you cover? Anything. But mostly I cover interesting stories from people around the town. She also writes a daily short story in the paper. You can't- you really can't shut up tonight, can you? I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you! I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then you are here to write a new piece. I should be. But I can't even- but I don't even know what to write about right now. Oh, someone's coming. Okay. Ooh! Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with these fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Would you like to order something? Mm. Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter that could keep me awake, but add some milk to it. So basically coffee. <laughs> All right, so. Um, he wants milk and he wants it bitter. Something that'll keep him awake. Um, I mean, lemon will definitely make it bitter. <laughs> but I don't think that's... That's usually in coffee. Um, yeah, that's fine. Coffee, milk, coffee. Milk coffee. He wanted something bitter. He wanted milk in it. And he wanted something that was gonna keep him awake. Wait, what if what if I did it this way? What if I put coffee, coffee, and then milk? Would it still be the same thing? Cappuccino! Okay, so wait, what if I put coffee, milk, milk? Let's see what that would make. Cafe latte. Ooh, okay, wait. Let me try one more time. Let me try one. I want to do this, okay? Give me one sec. So what if I put milk, milk? Oh. Oh, I can't put another coffee. What? Okay, wait, what if I put mint in the milk? What would that make? Mint milk, okay. Uh, what if I put... Yeah, we'll just put coffee, coffee with milk. Then we'll give him a cappuccino. That should keep him awake. There you go, buddy. Here's your order. Thanks. Perfect. You're good. Hey guys, sorry I had to cut the video short. It was running a bit long. It was around like 50 minutes or so. But if you're still here, yes, those are my social links or social media names uh, at the bottom there. They are also in my description box. So if you would like to follow me on Instagram or like my like page on Facebook or follow me on Twitch, that'd be great. And uh, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.